Welcome to today's episode of Snatching with Sarah. Today I want to talk about the best ways to go about securing an expired domain that's in pending delete status. Just a little rundown of the do's and don'ts to apply to your drop catching methods to help better your chances of landing a domain for the least amount of money. I'm sure you all know by now that there are three major aftermarket drop catching hubs. There's Snapnames, which has the most registrars associated with it, and that includes Bulk Register, Direct Eye, Direct Nick, Dotster, Melbourne IT, Moniker, Name.com, Register.com, and Two Cows, which is also known as Open SRS. Then we have Namejet, who is responsible for handling aftermarket domains at the following registrars Direct Nick, Enom, Fabulous, Network Solutions, and Speed Names. And then there's Pool.com, who has long been a frontrunner in drop-catching domains. They have no official registrars pre-releasing domains to them. And they have long been notorious for keeping up with the Namejet and speed names when it comes to snatching domains at the drop. The most recent addition is TDNOM, the domain name aftermarket housed by GoDaddy Auctions. As time goes by, I imagine we'll probably see better and better domains starting to appear, here in large part due to the fact that GoDaddy has been the largest domain registrar for the past couple of years. GoDaddy Auctions also controls Wild West domains. In any event, your best chance of landing an expired domain comes from the first three aftermarket companies that I just mentioned. And by placing a bet at all three, you're almost assured that you'll either get the domain at your bid price or at least be eligible for an auction at whatever drop catcher secures it. I only recommend this method for very good domains that you know you won't be able to grab with a drop catching tool like Snatcher. As far as GoDaddy's back ordering and drop catching service, they have a very long way to go before they can even catch up. Um, I've had them take as long as three hours to secure a domain after it drops. In order words, don't waste your time, don't waste your money, even if they do only charge $20. They simply won't catch it. So for these tips and many more tips, just visit snatcher.org and check out the section called Snatching with Sarah. I'm Sarah, and thanks for watching.